Okay, teachers, I'm going to show you a great hack. If you ever need to have something formatted or you want a series of things done um, and it's the same series of things done in, a, in Google Sheets, here's a quick and easy way that you can record a macros to, you, to do that same function over and over again. So you would want to use this in your personal lesson bank if your formatting button ever stops working, if you ever do something weird to it and it just won't format or it only is formatting some of them. Here's a really easy way to quickly add in a button for you <laughs> and then it won't, it won't have the problem anymore. So what you're going to do is highlight the top row that you are going to do formatting on, then scroll down to the very bottom which you don't really need to go all the way to the bottom, but scroll to the bottom, then hold shift and click the last number. So now all your rows are highlighted. Then you're going to come here and you're going to click tools, macros, and you're going to record macro. Then it's ready and it's recording anything you click now. So you want to be careful with what you click. So I'm going to click the font that I want. So Arial and I want the size. And if any of these that you want, if you click on it, then it'll save it. So I want black text. I want a white background. I do not want any borders. So that way, if there are borders, it will get rid of them. Then I want my alignment to be to the left. I want it to be to the top. And then the last one, I want text wrapping. So now, after you've done those, so I've done eight functions for it, or actions, then I click save, and now I get to name it. So I want to name it formatting, or maybe update formatting. Oh dear, if I could type. Okay, so now I have it to be update formatting. That's what the button will say, whatever you'd name it, that's what the button will say when you want to click on it. And then you can do a form, a shortcut. So if you hold Control Alt Shift and then a number, it will do that function. In the new PLB, I've already saved this macro, and I think it will work. But if you have already gotten your PLB, then you want to save it. So you could do number one. It's already saved number one in this new PLB. So I'm going to do number two, and then you click Save. So now, if you see, so it saved that in here. Now pretend I come over here or I have my lesson, this is just some some gobbledygook junky ones, oops, sorry, um, here, let me scroll back up to the top, so say we get some lessons in there, and it's weird, and we click the generate button, and all the formatting's really weird, so now here's how you run the macro, because see, these ones are good, but these ones are bad, so here, now if you do tools, macros, and then we have the one I already made and then the one we just made, update formatting. When you click that, it'll run that script of all the, the steps we told it to do and it will format them. So this is a really easy way to do, you can do it with any kind of, if you're doing anything over and over again, you just record those steps in there, which is called a macros, and then you have that saved in there and so you when you click that button it'll automatically do it so this is your quick and easy way and you only have to do that recording once and now now forever you can just come here do the macros and update the that formatting what you just made and it will run your formatting i hope this helps um sorry that we're having a weird <laughs> that there's something about it that is being temperamental that people are breaking it really easily so this is a really good backup solution